Good afternoon. Uh, it's good to be back in uh, Berlin, and it's uh, good to also have this opportunity to meet uh, with uh, EU defense uh, ministers. I think uh, the fact that uh, the Secretary General of NATO attends uh, EU defense ministerial meetings uh, demonstrates uh, the close uh, cooperation between uh, uh, NATO and uh, the European uh, Union. We will address uh, missions and uh, operations. Um, I will update the EU ministers on uh, NATO's presence in Afghanistan. We stay committed to our presence there because we believe that's the best way uh, to support the peace efforts and we see some encouraging progress when it comes to um, uh, moving towards starting inter-Afghan dialogue, inter-Afghan negotiations to create a lasting and peaceful solution to the crisis uh, in, uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, I will also uh, update the ministers on uh, NATO's uh, uh, work on, uh, on how to step up our presence in Iraq, uh, training local forces, training the Iraqi security forces, build local capacity is the best way to prevent uh, that ISIS uh, is not able to return. And both in Afghanistan and Iraq, NATO and the European Union are working very closely together and we are uh, now stepping up our efforts in, uh, in Iraq. Um, then, of course, we are following the uh, crisis in Belarus very closely. It involves at our borders. Um, the people of uh, Belarus uh, must have the right to decide their own future. Uh, all allies respect the sovereignty, the uh, integrity, the independence of uh, Belarus, and uh, uh, NATO uh, uh, remains a uh, uh, a defensive alliance. Uh, we are vigilant, we are ready to protect and defend all allies, uh, but there is no military NATO build-up uh, in the region. So any attempt by the regime in Belarus to use NATO as an excuse or as, uh, or as a pretext uh, to crack down on uh, demonstrators in their own uh, country is absolutely wrong, is absolutely unjustified. Um, we are uh, concerned about the situation in the, the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, what we need is uh, uh, de-escalation, uh, is dialogue. Uh, Turkey and Greece uh, have uh, both been uh, important NATO allies for many years, and uh, uh, we need to find a way to resolve uh, uh, the situation in the Eastern uh, Mediterranean. Uh, based on the spirit of uh, allied solidarity and international uh, law. And I welcome the uh, efforts by Germany uh, to mediate, uh, to find a way forward. And I'm also personally uh, regularly in contact uh, with uh, uh, both Ankara and, uh, and uh, Athens. I spoke recently with the uh, Greek uh, Prime Minister uh, Mitsotakis, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, we continue to uh, to provide NATO as a platform for uh, allies to meet and, uh, uh, and discuss how to find a solution to the situation in Eastern Mediterranean. Then So NATO who provided support uh, to the previous uh, EU uh, uh, mission in, uh, in the Mediterranean, uh, Operation Sophia. Uh, now we are looking into uh, how uh, uh, we can work together with the EU mission, but there's nothing new about that today. So we, are, we are very concerned about the situation in Belarus. Uh, and we have seen how the, uh, the regime, how the government had used, uh, has used violence against peaceful demonstrators. And we call on them, the regime, the president, to respect uh, fundamental values, fundamental rights, including the uh, freedom of speech, including the, the right for uh, peaceful uh, demonstrations, which are part of any uh, uh, democratic society and which are fundamental rights. Um, uh, and of course, uh, uh, in NATO, we are following these uh, developments very closely. They, they, uh, they evolve at our borders. 
um, and, uh, and it's absolutely uh, clear from all NATO allies that uh, uh, the people in Ukraine, they have to right uh, to decide their own future without interference from abroad, uh, interference from Russia, uh, and, uh, and of course uh, have, uh, and have the right to have free and fair elections. Um, and, uh, and, and we see attempts to use NATO as a kind of excuse for cracking down on uh, demonstrators on political opposition in uh, Belarus, uh, which is absolutely wrong, uh, because, uh, because uh, uh, there is no military build-up by NATO in the region, uh, and, uh, and uh, any attempt by the regime in Minsk, Belarus, to try to shift the focus from domestic issues uh, to, uh, to external issues, to create an excuse for using violence against their own people, uh, is not acceptable and is wrong and is unjustified. Um, when it comes to uh, Alexei Navalny, we, uh, we are, um, uh, of course, concerned about his health. I, 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 I wish him speedy uh, recovery. Um, uh, we uh, welcome the efforts of Germany uh, uh, to help him. Uh, and, uh, and the hospital here in Germany that provides uh, uh, medical care for him now. We have no reason to, to doubt his, uh, the, the finding of the doctors uh, in the hospital. Um, and what we need now is a, is a, is a, a transparent uh, investigation uh, to find out uh, what happened and, um, and, uh, and to make sure that uh, those uh, uh, responsible are held accountable. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.